Hey, what's up guys? Well and Customs here, and today we are taking a look at the Rick and Morty. This is Mr. Poopy Butthole. Fully posable action figure. Enough said. Let's open them up. Alright, so before we take a look at Mr. Poopy Butthole, uh, there's all the other figures you can buy to make snowballs. You got Rick, Morty, Mizeeks, I know I'm saying it right, and Bird Person. Pretty cool. Alright. Alright, so here is Mr. Poopy Butthole, and he does come with a couple of accessories. First off, he does come to build a figure piece for Snowball. This is when he built his own robot because he came to self-aware and could talk and stuff like that. So this is pretty cool. You could put, get the arms, get the legs and stuff like that. Uh, so that'd be pretty fun. He also does come with his cane right here, which is pretty nice. Small, skinny, but it's pretty good. We'll put them on him later. And also comes with a bottle of pills. That is awesome. And, you know, M Mr. Poopy Butthole is actually a very fascinating character because if you're like me, you watched all of the theories around his character. He's actually really relevant, very relevant, you know. Uh, I might get in, I'm not going to get into it right now, but it's just the fact that his existence proves a lot of theories and stuff like that. So uh, go enjoy that if you feel like watching that. Uh, but let's take a look at him right now. Alright, so here is Mr. Poopy Butthole holding his accessories. Uh, his cane fits in his left hand. It's a little bit smaller for the cane to fit in there. He needed his cane after Beth shot him, so he always has that now. And on the other hand, a little bit bigger to hold his bottle of pills right there. Uh, I remember there was an actual episode where he actually saw what was on the pills, but I forgot what it said exactly. Uh, but you can go research, research that yourself. Alright, so here's Mr. Poopy Butthole up close and personal. He looks exactly like how he was on the show. A little bit bigger, obviously, than he should be, but just how the toy is made. He has a top hat right here, which you can take off, it seems. It's just on there right there. It's a long face, a long head right there. Uh, going to his body, shirt, shorts, shoes. Now, comparing him to the television show, he actually is a little bit thicker looking than he should be. He's really skinny on the show. He seems to have a little bit of a thicker body. I mean, not huge, but uh, if you compare him to the TV show, he's like stick skinny, so uh, a little bit bigger than he usually is. Now for articulation, his neck joint actually seems like it's on a ball joint, but really limited. It, it, swivel, it goes back and forth a little bit, so I'm not really sure if that's a ball joint, but it does swivel fine. It kind of maneuvers a little bit around to make you think it's a ball joint, which it probably is, or maybe, who knows. Uh, the shoulders right here are in swivels. They go up and down, that's about it. They don't go in and out. No articulation in the arms. At the wrist, he has a swivel as well there, so that's pretty nice. And at the hips right here, he has a swivel at the hips. They go forward and back and that's about it. So not a, lot, not a lot of articulation for this character, but you know, you're just gonna have fun with him, play around with him, have him like pop out on the side and stuff like that. So it's pretty much good enough of what you need him for. Size comparison time, so here he is next to Deadpool. And Deadpool. Great combination right here, all of them speak to the audience and break the fourth wall. He's not that big actually. From the top of his hat, he's about four and a half. Even when I see it on top of his head, he's about three and three quarters inches tall. So, you know, not bad. You know, it's a fun little cartoon character to throw in with your ACBA picture taking. Why not, right? Uh, I definitely think people could have a lot of fun with these, this combination right here. Now, I don't have any other Rick and Morty figures right now, but I definitely want to get this one first because I just love having this, you know, the nice collectible in your collection so yeah he's not a bad figure you know very limited articulation but it's not a bad thing at all because you just want to have him standing there he's just so funny all right so that's about it guys just want to do a quick review on this this is mr poopy butthole and i hope you had fun thanks for watching guys like always comment criticize subscribe do whatever you want to pay attention follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and go to wildlandcustoms.com if you liked the video give it a thumbs up peace